Hi, I'm Josh Kaufman, and this is my small studio session. I'm Josh Kaufman. This is Cliff Ritchie. Um, we practiced a little bit, so we're, <laughs> we're going to try to play these songs. Uh, we're 90% sure of which songs we're going to play, so that could change too. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this first song's called Levity. It's off an EP that doesn't exist yet. All right. I've said lots of times that I could probably just do a full album or full albums of just sad songs, um, but it's hard to get away with that. So, but this is this is one of those um, called "Lie to Me." i 
playing together for like you, I would yeah, say 10 years because <laughs> it always defaults to 10 years it's yeah. been more like 20 something yeah, 20 for, something, sure. Yeah, um, for sure but until like uh, a couple well, like last year we hadn't ever started writing anything together except mm-hmm. for like maybe about 10 years ago we wrote that that really like weird. ridiculous yeah. R&B song um, <laughs> but um <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is, uh, this is the, um, the result of that writing. Um, we just tried to write something that was kind of, uh, all about like harmonies, um, and also tried to write something that was a little bit, uh, me- meaningful in, in some different way. So, yeah, uh, 
We don't have a title. We don't have a title. I just realized that as we were about to say, we just kind of wrote the song. I, I, and when like, I wrote it out the other day, yeah. I was like, oh, I what do we what call it? Let's name it right now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know, like, won't you see me? Yeah, it could be that. It's tentatively. It's in the song. Those, that line is in the song. Yeah. All right. I'll take it for now. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Ready? One, two, one, two. Yeah, let's do yours. All right. You gonna try to play too? Yeah, why not? We'll give it a let's shot. Do it. Give it a whirl. So I like to write a lot of songs. I like to write a lot of different songs, and uh, um, they're kind of all over the board, from folk music to some poppy stuff to maybe some progressive, weird kind of. I don't know what you call some of the songs, yeah. but uh, this is one kind of in between. Sometimes I like to give a voice to people, and uh, this song is about a. I think sometimes men have a hard time sharing their feelings. And uh, so I wrote a song about it and uh, kind of given that guy a voice who loves this woman, but he just can't quite say it. And he knows she's losing her. This is a sad one, too. I mostly write happy songs, but this was <laughs> a sad one. I should also say I actually specifically wrote the song with a harmony in mind when I was writing this course, and you'll hear it. And Josh, uh, for the longest time, has always sang on all my records uh, that I've put out, which I'm like 
been very fortunate. Um, and I actually wrote the vocal, the harmony part, with Josh in mind. And I remember I was actually on a paddleboard in the middle of, of a lake singing the song over and over because I was obsessed about it the day I was writing it. And uh, I remember the first time you actually sang it, I was like, Josh, I wrote this song. And I like the harmony is, is like your harmony. I can't wait for you to sing it. And then we sang it. It was at that thing at the track. Is that the first time oh, we right, sang right, it? Oh, right, 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 yeah. Yeah, I was like, I wrote this with your harmony in mind. So anyways, <laughs> I always write songs with Josh in mind. So <laughs> There you go. Cool. I know you're giving this back to me. I'm pressing. Yeah, yeah. I'm not keeping it this time. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right. Well. Oh, can't you see that I'm in love with you? I've been saying it with my eyes and with my brow Somewhere along the way you know my tongue gets tired When it's traveling from my heart up to my mouth Like a freedom fighter, I came in a set of barricades To protect you, my love, from being harmed You took a bullet in the arm and another in the heart From the crossfire that was coming from my gun Know that I'll be sleeping with sorrow, my love I see you when you're turning off the lights I know that you'll be leaving me Tomorrow, my love, won't you stay in my arms tonight? I got rough but steady hands I got a barrel in my chest And a bomb inside my heart with the burning fuse You got long and slender legs That hold them knocking knees And on your feet you worn down running shoes Know that I'll be sleeping with sorrow, my love I see you when you're turning off the light I know that you'll be leaving me Tomorrow, my love Won't you stay in my arms tonight? Know that I'll be sleeping with sorrow, my love I see you when you're turning off the lights I know that you'll be leaving me Tomorrow, my love Won't you stay in my arms I know that you'll be leaving me tomorrow, my love. Won't you stay in my arms tonight? Very nice. Very good. Thank you. I mean, I used to play all the time. Before I did the voice, I would just kind of get out wherever I could. I'd go sit in the pot belly downtown and play by myself and do the solo thing during lunch. I'd play with my band when I could get out and just was playing all the time. Um, and then after the voice, it was kind of like uh, the bigger gigs would come along. And then with those come like certain stipulations where if you're, if you're selling a bunch of tickets, nobody wants you playing next door the week before you know <laughs> so you, you have to kind of put things uh, kind of spread things out a little bit more and sometimes I wasn't I wasn't playing for a few months at a time where I wasn't really getting out and playing live um, so I've been trying to do trying to get out and play more even you know w wherever I can I've actually started doing a lot of um, smaller like house shows over the last year where I just kind of you know put it out there and say like hey who wants to who wants to host a house show can you get 25 people there um, let's let's make it happen I'll just do the solo acoustic thing and I love love those because you're just right there with people 
people. Um, and it's, it feels so much different from being on a stage where there's lights and you're pretending you can see everybody, but it's actually just blackness. <laughs> For me, it's a lot about like the fact that music connects with people and the fact that um, it kind of transcends what you can say in your everyday words. If, if you, I always say to people, if you can say it in an essay or a speech, then just say it that way. But if there's something more, something that deeper that you need to get to, sometimes art is the way you do that. Um, and so I think that – and I think that that comes across um, sometimes – better maybe always better if you can be in the room with that person you know there's more of more of a personal connection i'm i'm just into so many different things right now i've uh um yeah i've worked i've got the kind of um funk soul sort of project that i've actually started playing with uh um some a band doing those songs with and we're going to be um starting to play out a little bit more so i'm really looking forward to doing those songs in a band situation um and then i have the other project that's the ep that i'll be putting out soon that's the more acoustic guitar based stuff um Cliff and I actually have continued to talk about doing just a duo project of just two acoustic guitars, two voices. Um, so hopefully that'll happen sometime in the next year or two. Um, and then besides that, uh, in the last September, I started uh, working with students. Teaching has always been something I've done in different capacities. So it's, it's good to be getting back into that a little bit too.